Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and if you're new, this is going to be a hell of a video to start with. But I've been doing a lot of thinking, especially with this new release of a collection from Jaclyn Hill. Uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics came out, it's a bunch of nude lipsticks, and there's been a bunch of drama with this release and how people are getting like defective lipsticks and there's issues with them and I think there was one person in particular who like tweeted out to Jaclyn about like this is what's happening with my lipsticks, is, is this shouldn't be okay, is this alright? And apparently Jaclyn dragged this poor girl on Twitter and sent all of her followers after and this poor girl was harassed. I recently watched that girl Shay XO's video about her experience and watching that she was getting heated and I was getting heated and it really made me start thinking <laughs> about how people act on Twitter in, t in toxicity in general. Just toxicity especially when it comes to these really big YouTubers. <sighs> and it got me thinking about how I personally feel and how I've been basically turning a blind eye to behavior that I didn't deem important enough and was really focusing on people's behavior in YouTube. And I want to bring up specifically Jeffree Star. Uh, he gets a lot of shit and I really don't think all of everything that he gets is warranted. Some of it definitely is. I don't think all of it is. And for the longest time, I was a supporter in that he was the only one who would actually come on and do like an apology video on his main platform, which is YouTube. There's so many other instances of big YouTubers getting into drama and doing shit and not like ignoring it and doing like a quick little apology on Instagram stories. I'm talking about you, Kathleen Lights, saying the N word like it's nothing and then going on Instagram stories and saying like, oh, I apologize. It's not right. And not saying any like <laughs> that got me heated because the amount of people that told me that like she has a right to say it. She's Latina. I'm Latina and I don't say it. So fuck right off of that. Okay. <laughs> like it's a horrible racist thing. You don't say it like that in jest if you don't normally say it normally. And that that got me upset. I don't support her. I bought like one of her collabs and decluttered it. So all of this really just got me thinking about toxicity in the beauty community and like who I was actually supporting. At the end of the day, I used to really like Jaclyn Hill. I didn't like her person. Okay, this is gonna sound really bad. I didn't like her personality. <laughs> She's very uh, out there, like like loud and like personable, and that's fine. It's not for everyone though. It's not everybody's cup of tea, right? I I'm a huge introvert. I get exhausted watching some of her videos, and I can't. Like the only videos of hers that I loved and I thought warranted the fame that she eventually got were her original tutorials. She's got some amazing tutorials from like 2012, you know, and earlier where she actually teaches you things. And th that's what I fell in love with. And she was a great teacher. She knew her stuff. She knew her formula. She knew, she knew how to work it. And ultimately that's what got her further, right? Now with this whole release, I know there's been so much drama with every single collab she's come out with, which is a warning sign every single one has an issue and it's it's never her fault until it's finally her own brand so ultimately it falls on her i'm going to say this again she has her own brand this now falls on her and the fact that she's doing this i would recommend please go watch that girl shay xo's video because she explains this in a much clearer and coherent way than i am but the way that she reacted to genuine criticism warranted criticism left such a bad taste in my mouth and it just really made me reevaluate who i support so here's where we get to the the meat of the video i no longer want to support anyone that lived breeds facilitates toxic toxicity can i speak toxicity and so that's going to include uh tati who i haven't been supporting since the whole halo beauty thing i never really followed any of the big influencers so that's kind of mute i no longer am going to support jeffree star i'm no longer going to be buying any more makeup i'm going to unsubscribe i'm going to stop following him 
and I probably should have done this a long time ago, if I'm being perfectly honest. I am no longer going to support Jaclyn Hill. I'm never going to buy anything from her brand. I said I might be interested in any future releases, but it's it made me realize that it's people like me that are facilitating these people. They're th people like me are the reason why they have millions of subscribers, the reason why they're making so much money, and the reason why they're enabled. We're enabling. We're enabling. So, I mean, I... I've, I've really made me think that video from that girl Shay XO really made me think and it really made me think about like double standards right so I'm gonna do my best I mean I'm not I'm not saying I'm gonna go out here and be like perfect I know that the owner of Too Faced Jared Blandino has some serious issues do I like him as a person no do I still buy Too Faced things every now and then yes so I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be 100% perfect but I'm going to do better in following my own moral compass. So right out the gate, people that are one way on YouTube and like another way on Twitter, I've always left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, that includes Jacqueline, that includes Jeffree Star, that includes Alyssa Ashley. I used to love her videos and I was subscribed for a bit until I saw how much of a bitch that she was on Twitter. I can't believe so like that like I don't want to support people that are just good at filtering themselves I mean at the end of the day we all do it but I mean we're not all assholes like at the end of the day I can act like a decent person not act like decent. I, I can okay so at the end of the day I know the difference between how I act at work versus how I act at home versus how I act with my boyfriend versus how I act with my family there isn't a huge different. I mean, there isn't a huge difference between those four people, right? It's just like, I'm not going to curse in front of my boss, right? That doesn't make me a terrible person. I'm, there's a difference between this and what these big influencers are feeling enabled to do. And it took me until now to realize that because ultimately I was kind of like, yeah, you know, people are like that. Maybe, maybe they might act like an asshole. Maybe they're not entirely an asshole. But you know what? If they're showing you who they are, you need to take it. So let me, I, I'm going to give you kind of just like a, a general rundown of who I'm not supporting right now. And maybe I need to reevaluate that list because I still haven't bought from Tarte since their issue. There are so many influencers who buy from Tarte. How do you feel about Tarte? It wasn't ultimately one person acting terribly. Ultimately, it was the brand and how, like, the brand itself kind of went after people. That's why I didn't buy from them, because of their shitty shade range and how they ultimately took that into PR. I'm going to reevaluate the brand. Who knows? I don't know of ex it's, I don't think the brand itself was toxic. I think their reaction to that foundation shade issue was. Maybe it's bad on me for continuing to hold a grudge against them when maybe they've learned. I don't know because ultimately I've, tried, I've been trying to just block them out instead of dealing with them. So Tarte, Beauty Blender for the exact same reason and attacking their customer base. I don't support, well now, Jaclyn Hill. I'm no longer going to do anything with her. Jeffree Star. And I don't know, by extension, Shane Dawson. I know I was so excited for their collab, but... I, I, I hearken back to like a quote, like, uh -huh, I'm going to be nerdy and stupid and go with Dumbledore. You can choose the path that is easy. You can choose the path that is right. And I'm not going to say that I'm perfect and I'm 100% right. Am I immediately going to go like uh, blacklist everyone and go cruelty free and do X, Y, Z? No, because I'm not a perfect person and I never will be. But I have my own values and I have my own I have my own morals and I need to begin consistently following them instead of turning a blind eye when it's convenient for me because that's privilege and that's what's pushing so many people to keep enabling. So yeah, so uh, Tarte, Beauty Blender, Jaclyn Hill, Jeffree Star, anyone else that's like over couple million subscribers if I'm being honest it's just toxic and it's it's horrible including James Charles uh, and Tati I think those are the ones like right off the top of my head so 
yeah, I don't know exactly how to end this video because I kind of just like word vomited everything that I, I realized and that I was see like feeling after this. Uh, yeah. So, um, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll be back to probably normal scheduling the next week. I do have one video I'm actually about to film right after this that still ties into the Jacqueline thing, but I'm pretty sure this video is going to go up first. I just, I like threw my filming schedule out the window and I was, <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's just do this. So here it is. Let me know your thoughts down below. I am very curious. I don't even know what I'm titling this yet, but let me know your thoughts. I, I, I want to discuss this further. Thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.